Mike Logan from Logan Family Counseling and askmikethecounselor2.com. That's my website, and uh, you can certainly see that at YouTube, which is where one of the places this video will be. Uh, it's March 19th, sort of a chilly, brisk, birchy, more winter than spring day in Rockford, Illinois. And what I want to talk about today is brain workouts. Um, interesting term, if you stop and think about it. I mean, I can go to the YMCA and I can do some curls for my biceps and some squats for my, for my uh, legs and some toe rises for my calves and some dips for my quad triceps and so on and so forth. I can exercise all the muscles in my body. But when you stop and think about a brain workout, what does that mean? Well, actually, those physical exercises are a very important part of any brain workout that you do. Uh, the physical ex exercise, the deep breathing, and the increased blood flow, flow to your brain are very important parts of your brain's need for a workout. Um, it gets extra blood into the brain, which brings extra nutrients. The brain occupies or eats up uh, about 20% of the energy that you take in a day. I uh, can't store any energy, so it's dependent on uh, food, the right kind of sugar, glycogen, for example, coming in the blood. So an exercise, a hard breathing workout uh, is very good for your brain. And you can also these days uh, do, right on your computer, some brain fitness kinds of brain workouts, if you will. There are computerized programs now that are designed to exercise various and sundry circuits in the brain, utilizing sound and light, of course. Okay, those uh, workouts uh, stimulate either auditory or visual or both circuits and keep the neurons in those circuits firing in close synchrony. That's a very important part, like you want uh, muscles in your biceps to flex all at the same time, not some now and some later when you're lifting up the, uh, uh, <coughs> the child for the bath. Uh, you want them all to fire together, all to work together. Same with the neurons in the auditory and visual circuits. And when they do that, uh, neurons actually grow extra dendrites, which are the little tree-like branches on neurons that <coughs> at the end of them there are synapses more dendrites and the more synapses we have and the more closely they fire in synchrony the better your brain is working for example if my brain's a 61 year old brain and on occasion I'll search for a word that's a normal part of the aging process to not be able to recall just the, a, the precise word that you want at the precise time it changes my ability to do that However, I can utilize the posit science auditory training, brain fitness program, to get the neurons in the auditory cir circuit uh, firing closely together, and then it's easier for me to pull up just the precise word at the right time to tease the noise out of the environment around me while I'm listening in on a conversation and, and repeat it back to the person that I'm talking to or communicate with them effectively. Those skills can be enhanced. In fact, there's recent research, uh, the impact study, that says that uh, processing speed in folks my age and older, actually, I think uh, folks in the, the study were 65 and older, uh, increased by 131%. Now, the Posit Science Brain Fitness Program is a 40-hour workout. They want you to do an hour a day for uh, <coughs> eight weeks. That's, you know, when you come to think about the benefits of doing that, that's uh, pretty good. Okay, now, another brain fitness workout that you can do, a brain workout, a uh, computerized program is the MindSpark Brain Fitness Pro, which trains fluid intelligence. It's an auditory and a visual program, and if you look at my YouTube, uh, my videos stored online, you can find some demonstrations of that. Now, that is a very interesting brain workout. Okay, because uh, fluid intelligence is the intelligence that I bring to a new situation. <coughs> uh, 
For example, as a counselor, I know lots of counseling terms and a counseling viewpoint of the world. However, um, somebody who is, for example, a construction worker, and I was that when I was younger, actually, um, is not going to know any of those terms. Their approach to life is going to involve more along the lines of what you do when you're rough in a wall, for example. This part goes here. And then the hole gets nailed up and you got to plumb it and, uh, and, and get it ready to have the roof go on, for example. Uh, my worldview is a little different. So for me to go back to do that construction kind of material would be involve my fluid intelligence. I would need to access that ability to handle a new situation without any prior memory of it or prior experience of it. And so you can exercise that now and you can increase it. Uh, the research of Jack I. and Bushkull says that this particular brain workout can increase your fluid intelligence and even your IQ, they use IQ test to measure it, can increase your fluid intelligence, to, there's no upper limit. So it's really an important part of any brain workout. Physical exercise, key piece of it. Uh, novel challenge, new learning is what uh, uh, locks in the new neurons that sprout up a, a neurogenesis in my brain every day. So thank you very much for listening about brain workouts. And uh, workouts at home are real easy to do. Walk up and down the stairs a few times. Do some jumping jacks and some burpees. 30 seconds worth of 20 different exercises for 10 minutes. That's all it takes to generate the kind of, uh, to fertilize the brain, if you will, so that new neurons grow and then get cemented into the already existing circuits, which you are rehearsing with your online computer program. A couple of different kinds of brain workouts. Thank you very much, Mike Logan. Ask Mike at counselor2.com.